Hello, my name is Metin Arudashir. This is 276th part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas, mass multiplied by velocity of electron is not equal to momentum or Mass multiplied by velocity of electron is not equal to h divided by lambda wavelength or 1 divided by 2 mass multiplied by velocity of electron square of velocity of electron is not equal to h nu Yes. At rest, motionless electron has momentum, photon has mass, Planck's constant is angular momentum, and Planck's constant is variable. Planck's constant is angular momentum on an electron for motion form angular momentum of every inseparable point of electron motion form. Electron motion form is inherently a form of motion. This form is spherical ring-shaped motion form of meta sensation perception matter whether electron motion form is motionless at rest or in motion relocating it has point mass and point momentum i defined every inseparable point on its motion surface as a photon Electron motion form at rest, electron motion form in this direction, in motion. But cycling is going on. And it, if, if it is free, first cycle, second cycle, third cycle, spherical, intertwined wings, shapes, waves, go on through eternity. Yes. A point. Or a point. Okay. This is photon, inseparable point, every point on an electron motion form or on its spherical waves. I defined every inseparable point on its motion surface as a photon. And photon has mass, momentum and angular momentum etc. This is one of my energy formulas for electron. Here. There are intertwined formulas that I put forth. This is speed of light direction, photons or inseparable point or electron motion forms any point, every point. Speed of light direction energy formula. As I told you before, tangential velocity component form energy formula is different. Speed of light direction formula is different. Now here I mention one of my this formula. Intertwined, yes, snapshot. Okay. These formulas I derived from my main, one of my main form energy formula, here, mass, mass, shortening wavelength formula, be careful, velocity of electron, where is velocity of electron in my formulas, 
here, we eat, here, we eat. Okay, whether we eat, electron velocity is zero or not, electron motion form, whether it is at rest or in motion, always electron motion form has momentum. Yes. So, even if electron velocity is equal to zero, the momentum will not be zero. Like this. This is my momentum formula for any point on electron motion form, whether it at rest or in motion. Okay. For instance, if this is main momentum formula that I put forth. Snapshot. Okay. Here, electron velocity. If it is zero, if electron velocity is equal to zero, still there is momentum for electron motion form. Okay. Delta lambda cosine alpha is zero also. And Planck's constant doesn't change if electron motion form is not relocating. Okay. Notice that. Then, at first, notice that. For instance, according to my formulas, if an electron motion form with 91.155 nanometer initial wavelength is relocating at what? 258,917 km per second. This is at rest here at this velocity, it is relocating. In the motion direction, wavelength here at this point in zero degree direction shrinks to lambda normal minus delta lambda cosine zero degree is equal to, I have computed according to my theory and my formulas, 12.483 10 to the minus 9 meter. <coughs> yes. Then, and in the same direction, wave velocity will decrease from the speed of light to zero point C minus V cosine zero degree will be equals to zero point forty one zero eight ten to the 8 meter here. Yeah. In same direction, wave velocity will be 0 0.410, etc. Okay, this one. This one. Then, Planck's constant is nothing but angular momentum of a photon on electron motion form and it and if electron motion form is relocating it is variable here angular momentum or Planck's constant lambda normal multiplied by mass multiplied by velocity c c direction mass i have computed before 0. Point, i'm so sorry 2.423 10 to the minus 35 kilogram if 91.155 10 to the minus 9 meter 
multiplied by 2.42 10 to the minus multiplied by 3 uh, speed of light 10 to the 8 is equal to 6 point Planck's constant if it is at rest okay yes like this then Planck's constant is nothing but, <coughs> I'm so sorry, but angular momentum of a photon on electron motion form. And if electron motion form is relocating, it is variable. Planck's constant is variable. Here in zero direction of motion, okay, angular momentum H alpha is equal to what? 48 point. 3, 8, 10 to the minus 34 kilogram meters square per second. Okay. And in this direction, mass is speed of light direction. Here, mass 2.42 10 to the minus 45 kilogram for at rest electron and here Planck's constant or angular momentum of a photon is 6 point 10 to the minus 30 okay then here In this direction, mass very high, 900 43.83 10 to the minus 35 kilogram. Here, yeah. here at rest, point mass. Here, in this direction, point mass, point mass is variable on each point. By the way, this is, yes. Then, and in this direction, momentum is, momentum is, according to my formula, 387.7. Momentum. P alpha at this point, zero degree, equals to three point three hundred eighty seven point seven twenty five ten to the minus kilogram meter divided by second ten to the minus twenty seven here momentum. Here, momentum, what? At rest, only 7.266 10 to the minus 27 kilogram meter per second. Okay, different momentums, but still on a point of at rest electron, there is. Momentum 7.266 10 to the minus 27 kilogram meter per second. But when it is in motion at this velocity in zero direction, momentum is that. Okay. For at rest electron motion, for momentum is 2.42 10 to the minus. I'm so sorry. For at rest electron motion for mass, point mass is 2.42 10 to the minus 35 kilogram. Momentum is 7.266 10 to the minus 27 kilogram meter per second. Angular momentum is Planck's constant. Okay. And
At this point, angular momentum or Planck's constant changed 48.10 to the minus 4, uh, 34 and mass increased in zero de degree direction 943.8 10 to the minus 35 kilogram and momentum increased 387.725 10 to the minus 27. Yes, finally, all of this will have significant consequences. About what? About uncertainty principle, about Compton effect, about De Broglie, matter wave, fiction, about Einstein equations, about accepted physics foundations. Have a good evening. See you later.